Woodman of CTV with Ode Martin Sorondo, one of our newest signings here at Woodside Road. How does it feel to be signed on for the season? Yeah, I'm delighted to be with her. Um, obviously, when you come and try out, you've got kind of not pressure, but obviously, it's not it's not as the same as the rest of the guys that they already signed. Um, since the first day, to be fair, everyone was really welcoming. Uh, I'm really happy how they treat me, the staff, the players, everyone involved in the club. Um, yeah, since the first day, I, I wanted to sign here. The setup is incredible. Uh, the way Adam, he wants to play and the staff he wants to play us is really good. Um, yeah, as I said, really, really happy to be here. How did the trial come about? What was your connection to the club prior to the summer? Uh, so it's true that since last season I was I was following Walden because I was pretty curious that a club that was just promoted to the league was fighting for the playoffs. Um, we were living quite a similar situation at Canby where I was playing last season where we got promoted to the East Indian Premier and we were fighting for the playoffs as well. So that's why I was kind of, wow, these guys are doing well. Uh, and it's true that I noticed the way Warden was playing like from the back, like possession kind of style of football and I really liked that. And then obviously when Luke signed with really really good friends, um, he had a word for me if, if I could come and try out. It's true that I took kind of a gamble because the Gaffa, Nathan and everyone in the club, I don't think they knew about me. Maybe Gary, that he was coming from Hastings and I faced him last season when he was a manager over there, but yeah. Uh, was a trial basically and when you come here you never know what's going to happen the plans of the gaffer and yeah i took a gamble walk hard and paid off you mentioned uh, juan luque there another uh, spanish national in this team uh, what was the relationship between you two how did you uh, come to meet each other well it was a long story already almost six years of friendship uh when i was back in bilbao studying at the university i had already my mind coming to England to, to play football and I was following Lucas' story at Haybridge. Uh, he was a top goal scorer, he was enjoying it and I was kind of jealous of him. I wanted to kind of enjoy the same thing, not only football and yeah, I came through the same event he came through, uh, England the Chance, which was basically a one week trial where you were scouted by a few non league clubs. Um, yeah, from that I signed at Haybridge, he realised that the new Spanish lad signed for Haybridge, we got in contact, um, we lived in Chelsea together and from there, obviously Christmas and these kind of days, we, we have to spend them here because we're committed to the football, uh, we don't have our families, neither friends, so we got each other and yeah, we, we built a really good relationship, really good friendship and a real one because We've been through really tough moments during these years. We lived as well really good ones. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really grateful to have him by my side. And now, look, playing together in, in the National League South. So, yeah. It's great. And it bodes well for the team as well and the team bond across the entire squad. Just to switch actually to your, to your playing career. So, you mentioned just previously you've been at Haybridge in Can uh, Canby Island last season. You've also played at this level for Concord as well, I'm right in saying. What's it been like for you playing in England compared to anything you had over in Spain? Yeah, I mean, it's it's unbelievable the journey I had, to be fair. I look back now and I will never expect the the journey I had. Uh, ups and downs, but that's the journey, isn't it? It's how you learn. Um, I started at Highbridge, really good two seasons where I won the playoff uh, under Julian Dix uh, in the first season. It was unbelievable. Um, then I moved to Concord Rangers, as you said, in, in this level. Uh, was different, was a big step up. Uh, I learned a lot from it. Um, we achieved uh, the FA Trophy final, which was an unbelievable experience, unforgettable. Um, and yeah, I mean, then it's true that I didn't have the minutes I would like to, so I decided to get along to Canby Island. And yeah. The group or the core of the group at Canby was pretty the same one as we had at Haybridge when we won the playoffs. So I had kind of a few friends over there and I knew the way they were going to be playing. So for me, for me, it was a no-brainer. And yeah, I arrived, we won the playoffs again. So 
can't complain. And yeah, last season we were fighting again for for gaining promotion. So it's been it's been a good one. Uh, but I don't like the comfort zones. I could stay over there or I don't know in a step three, step four club. But yeah, I wanted a new challenge. Keep improving as a player. Keep building memories. Um, I believe that was good enough to be here. So yeah, I'm delighted to to carry on with this journey. Let's see what he brings. And uh, for those who maybe haven't seen you play so far this uh, summer, what can they expect from you on the pitch? What kind of player are you? Uh, well, I think that no one can guarantee that they will be playing really good. Um, I guarantee that I will give you my all uh, every every time I wear this badge, every time I work on the pitch. I will give my 100%. Um, it's true that I can play in a few positions. Last season I was playing as a right back, but what I'm most comfortable feel is in the midfield, giving some balance. Maybe I'm not as pretty, we can say, as the other midfielders we've got here, but yeah, I think I could give some balance, those second balls, uh, some energy midfield, tackling. It's what I enjoy, it's what I like. Uh, and yeah, the, the way we play, I think it really suits me. Uh, I, I really like the setup tactically approach that the gaffer and the, the staff has so yeah having having good players around me as well as they are they've got believable quality so it makes things easier to be fair so yeah i would give it my hope it's all it's all i can guarantee and uh, what are you hoping to achieve for this season well seeing seeing was what last season world in achieved uh i think that for for the first season at this level um it's a big achievement, so anything less than that, I think, will be a disappointment. Um, we've got a really good group, the new signings that the government made during the summer, uh, they are a statement of where the club wants to go. So, yeah, I think that we'll have to take game by game, obviously, uh, get solid at the back and try to, with those clean sheets, get a few wins in a row. and. Yeah, I think that the players should be a target for this club.